I will be demonstrating our new additions to the dashboard for business classification, this shows all the requested patterns and values in a single column. First let's recap how the citizen requests their rights under the EU GDPR and soon CCPA and hopefully the soon United States regulations. First let's see how easy it is for a customer or citizen to log into the secure encrypted private system. Then after the citizen logs in they can actually select individual personal information as well as select their rights of erasure, who their data was sold or distributed to and many other requests for GDPR, the soon CCPA and the soon total of near 49 states and many other countries. Data Privacy Laws the citizen can also write detailed messages to the companies with their wishes with more detail and upload documents and requests documents to be sent to them from the company for example to prove the citizen signed a consent for that company to use their personal data. All the comments made by the user and the company are timestamped for lineage and documentation. The user can request on or many GDPR and or CCPA or other regulatory agencies regulations and I hope when not if the world gets a centralized portal for citizens to make their requests easier by selecting the company or companies they want to exercise their rights to their data, it will also give companies one place to go daily to retrieve the requests that they have received. The company will have their opportunity to both text communicate and send documents to and from the user the same as the user has the ability to do so. There are two separate sets of details and or notes that the user and the company can communicate based the types of requests. Now that the citizen or customer has made their request let's log in as a company, review the request or requests and act on the latest one. After the company logs in, they can view all citizen requests and then select one to process or review the results. Here you see we allow for metadata to be added to the extensive catalog and collaborative back and forth communications with one another. Here we can select the date of the run we want to review. This is the results of the pattern discovery, showing the primary pattern only of each column. Here we are viewing the results of the classification run. First we are viewing for 13 files the summary counts by the discovery pattern or value we selected to search for. We now click on the show column chart. This allows us to see by the column of each file not just one, but all the discovery patterns and values we selected to run and their counts and percentages. We are back in the pattern view. We will from the chart on the right drill into the social security pattern and view some of the data to confirm it is really social security numbers or a false positive. It is really social security numbers, now back to analyze more. We can do the same drill and validation from the column view as we did from the discovery pattern view. Yes they are emails. Now on to the new viewing capability. Based on the user selection on the left, they can see the summary for each discovery pattern by file or folder level which would be all the files combined. When viewing by all files we see the results in the pie chart. When viewing from the individual files, we see the results of each individual pattern in the graphical boxes. Also we see the total rows affected to the far right. We allow the user to drill from the box to validate that discovery pattern, the same as we do from the table above. As with the pattern discovery, the classification discovery can view each file separately and see the row counts and percentages for each pattern. And if there are more than one pattern or value found in a column, they will be shown separately in each box. Again for another file and column the user is validating that this column has exposed social security numbers, and after scrolling a few pages of the data, yes it does. Lastly we are seeing the export capability of the metadata catalog for the results the user is viewing. The metadata is now viewable in the Excel spreadsheet that was downloaded. I thank you kindly for watching this video. Reach Steve at 847-791-7838 for more info.